Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. going to be part three on the Be Filled with the Spirit series, and today I'm going to cover a topic that's not quite so pleasant. What happens when you fall down? What happens when you sin? What happens when things don't go well? Pray to the Lord, what should I talk about today? What's a good topic for the day? And he said, tell him the truth. So I'm telling you all the truth, today uh, didn't do so hot. Today I could have been a better human being and a, definitely a better Christian. And you know what? There's forgiveness. 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And I've done that. And then on a lower level, on something smaller, you're going to have days when you don't really feel filled with spirit. That was me today as well. Um, even before the whole sin thing interfered through things topsy-turvy. I feel tired. Day feels rough. Um, just uh, getting back on my normal sleep schedule has been a pain. I haven't really felt much of anything today. And even on the other days, well, I was getting decent, even though my sleep schedule was off, I was getting a decent amount of sleep, but you know, like I felt a little bit closer, and here it is uh, near the end of the week. And that camp, the, the from camp, just the overcharge, the juice, and see, yeah, it's pretty much faded. That usually fades pretty quick. The repentance that happened there has not faded. Um, when I sinned today, it wasn't with Eroge. It wasn't with that. I didn't fall there. That has stayed gone. That's permanently different. And, yeah, just because you don't feel it, even if you fall in sin. And a lot of you guys out there are probably thinking, well, I, I sin every single day. Um, I've got news for you. You're not alone. Like I said, most of you thinking out there, it is my impression and belief that most people fall short every single day. It is also my belief that you don't have to fall short and sin every single day. I believe there's hope. So let me just leave you all with that verse that I've loved to give to you all a few, several times. And I keep telling you, Google's your friend. I'm going to say it again that Google's your friend. Look it up. He who endures to the end will be saved. Being filled with the Spirit isn't a magic trick. It's not a ritual or a routine. It's a daily walk. And sometimes it's a daily struggle of carrying your cross. Sometimes it's not fun. Sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes we mess up. And our great God, our great Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, looks down on us. His love hasn't changed. He's still right there. And he's just, he's extending his arm out. You can't really see it on camera very well. He's extending his arm out saying, Come here, son. Come here, daughter. Get up. Keep moving. You can do this. So get up. Keep moving. You can do this. Thank you for watching. I love you. And God bless.